Welcome to Dollar Store Gaming. This is Lost in Dungeon. Normally 99 cents, purchased for 54. <laughs> what is with these games missing a definite article? Lost in the Dungeon, or a Dungeon, or Steve's Dungeon. Lost in Dungeon doesn't work. And a lot of these games do it. I'm reminded of a uh, Way of Hero. There, there's no options, but there are credits. Oh wow, this is just all assets that were taken from elsewhere. One thing I should mention, the game describes itself that it's randomly generated. Which, those two words have my attention. Let's go. What? Yes? I have no bomb. I have no super bomb. D is shoot. E is interact. Wait. Okay, hang on. I make a swinging motion while I shoot. Is, is that how this works? Am I using my sword gun? Or perhaps gun sword? Music straight from Shadow Moses Island, apparently. Okay, let's... You know what? You got it handled. I'm gonna look around first. Very stiff controls. Okay, the doors are open. E. I got a key, which of course gave me an achievement. Ultimate Collector. Uh, some gold. E. You're free. Let's just leave. Oh, there's like, really, you get easily stuck on anything around you. Also, why am I Little Red Riding Hood? Kind of a philosophical question, I suppose. There's something off about the assets here. Like, they look like they all belong in different games. Like, they're similar, but not similar enough to be actually unified. Fatality. Oh, God! Really bloody. Okay, up, uh, new room. Forget that. Never mind. Stay away. Oh, what are the hitboxes? Okay, so it says randomly generated, which I do believe. But unfortunately, it's not the good kind of random generation. It kind of seems like the really bad kind of randomly generation, where it just throws everything down in a big pile in the room, and it could be impossible to traverse. Um, let's go this way. I have a good feeling about this way. I clearly chose right. What in God's name is that abomination? Some sort of weird bunny owl vampire? Whoa. <laughs> I suppose I had that coming. Hey, I had half a heart left. In the interest of full disclosure, I'm literally just hitting the button with one hand while checking my phone with the other. Random generation in games can be a double-edged sword because it can also make your game really boring and unbalanced. Some of the best random generation is gonna be stuff level by level, like your Binding of Isaac, or your Enter the Gungeon, or even just each stage is completely randomly generated, but smartly randomly generated. See uh, Nuclear Throne for a perfect crash course in that. This, it just throws everything around randomly with no purpose. Hey, I finally got a bomb and a silver key. Okay, we got a silver key, we can open the silver chest. Behold! A, a small pile of coin. Oh, if I free him, help me. Okay, this is like a how not to guide on random generation. Hang on, bomb. That bomb explosion effect was the best thing about the game. I wonder what asset store they took that from. I know it seems like I should be able to get through here, but in fact, it's a terrible lie. Here's my question. Each time I die, it seems to restart me, but on the same floor? Like, I'm on floor four, but it just re-rolls the floor. So what's the tension, if I can just keep playing? There's no tension at all, is there? You forgot to code tension into your game. Is that ghouls? They seem remarkably okay with being bombed. So, the question is, is Lost in Dungeon worth a dollar? Definitely not. I respect a developer trying to make a randomly generated game for so cheap, but this is like the worst type of random generation. None of the levels are interesting, none of the levels stand out, the aesthetics are all wonky, the controls are stiff, the gameplay doesn't evolve in any way other than just slightly stronger enemies. It's like everything you don't want in a random generation game. But maybe, just maybe, this silver key will solve all the problems. I'm freaking uninstalling! Thank you so much for watching. 
If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe as I put out two new videos a week, Game Boy Roulette every Friday, and a brief look at Dollar Store Gaming or 10 Things You Missed every Monday. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.